Hello my fellow miner. This is a continuation of the video I released 5 hours ago. Um, it turns out that uh, <laughs> Gminer released a new version with a better um, LHR unlocker, so the perfect timing, and I had to do an extension. The results from the previous video can be seen here on the screen for NBminer. Next we'll test Gminer and then Miniset. All will be tested in Ethereum with their respective semi unlockers. Now let's have a look at Gminer with adjustment core clock. I set the core clock as far down as possible, memory clock to 1050, power limit to 67. As this is a V2 card, I had to use LHR Tuner 2, I set it to 4. When setting it at 5, it became very unstable. It started out pretty badly, but soon stabilized around 32, with a power usage of 95 watts. The average result is 32.8 MHz per second, 96 watts, and an efficiency rate at 0.341. Next up, we'll see how Gmine affairs using a locked core clock. I set the core clock to zero, left the memory clock at 1050 and the power limit at 67. Then I locked the core clock in at 1450. With locked core clock I had to set the tuner at 3. Now let's have a look at the average score, 32.7 MHz per second at 79 watts, which give a very good efficiency rate at 0.414. Up next we have Mini-C with adjustment core clock. I must admit, the documentation on their page is really bad. This is the closest I came to anything remotely stable, core clock at plus 100, memory co uh, clock at uh, 1350, and power limit at 76. In other words, it's baking. It's way too hot and using way too much power. I would never run my memory clock that high, especially not on a dual fan card. The average is 28 MHz per second at 110 watts, which gives an efficiency rate of 0.259. Last up is Mini-C with a lock core clock. I set the core clock to zero again, the memory clock to 1050, and the power limit to 67. I locked the core clock at 1450. It was a lot easier to achieve a good result with this. Uh, to me it looks like locking the core clock is the way to go if you want to use this miner. Let's have a look at the average. 31.5 MHz per second at 93 watts, which gives an efficiency rate of 0 0.339. Uncle Donkey needs you to subscribe right now so we can pay for better audio effects. Extreme Audio Looking at the uh, final result, it actually looks like NB minor and G minor are equal, but they are not. If you look at the G minor lock core clock, you'll see that it's much more efficient and cheaper when you look at the fee. I didn't have much luck with Mini Set, but as far as I can read, it works really, really well with uh, the V1 of the 3060, where you can achieve over 40 MHz per second, which is fantastic. That said, in the current state, I will not use it on a V2. Um, it's actually the latest version, the G minor is also the latest version, and NB minor. If you have any tips for Mini-C uh, on the V2, please share it in the comments. Thank you very much. <laughs>